Hello everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the inverse sonic, which looks like this. And it's kind of similar to a twisted sonic, except um, it's only one revolution instead of 1.5 twisted sonic inverse sonic. So yeah, into the tutorial. Actually, before um, we start learning this, make sure that you know how to do the regular sonic. Because it could be a lot more difficult and confusing if you don't know the sonic already. Okay. So first, you're going to hold it um, the same way you do to start a sonic. Um, the weight, I mean, um, the portion which you're holding it could be in the middle. Like, I can hold it in the middle. I mean, it's still possible, but I think it's just you get more of a swing. You get more momentum when the larger portion of weight swings like that instead of being in the middle where it's even. So... I'd recommend doing it, holding it two-thirds of the pen just like this, and then you'd start by, so you're going to start here, as I said, and then you're going to kind of, before you even swing, you're going to you're gonna um, bring your pointer finger just in front of your middle finger, and then when you swing, then you move your middle finger back, so that way... It has, mo it has room to turn and then complete. So, if I do it slowly, you'll see exactly how it works. So I'll just do it really slow so that you can see exactly how the fingers move and how they propel the pen to do the trick. So, I start here. And I go in front. And then this goes behind so that it can go over just like that. So it's basically a sonic, but instead of catching your fingers like behind, you're catching them in front. So think of that. That really helped me when I was learning it. And then at the end, since it's impossible to like keep, you can't like bring the pen in front of your um, pointer finger. That's impossible. So what you have to do is just set your pointer finger back so that it could then complete it just like that. And one more time. You do the swing from this position with your pointer slightly in front, and then it goes right into here. And then you keep going, the momentum pushes it, and then should just fan out just like a regular charge should be the ending. So yeah, inverse sonic. Um, it is. It does kind of seem irregular. Definitely did for me when I was first learning this. So. And of course it does get a little less irregular and it becomes natural since your fingers are trained to do that motion. And yeah, that's about it. So practice makes perfect. Keep practicing and see you next time.